looking pretty fucking cool. So like, ask any questions you want, lads. So anything you want to ask about this prep, fucking ask away. I'm just going to be eating, making my food here. I was like, fuck, I'm going to talk to you guys before I go do cardio. So this is meal four for today. I've got, um, what have I got? I got 40 grams of protein with it and um, and 50 grams of carbs. So I'm getting it in. I'm not having any real starchy carbs. I've already had them today and, uh, and they're not agreeing with me. So I've like, cut out my rice. Stopped, um, stopped doing that. So, yeah, I'm uh, literally just sticking towards veggies, which is nice and fun. So, for the first time ever in my life, I've started having to fucking count veggies. I hate doing it, but, you know, that's what happens. When coach tells you to do something, you just fucking do it. So, yeah. There is there's the uh, 40 grams of beef right there. Sorry, 40 grams of protein from meat right here. Thanks to Daily Fuel for cooking that up because fucking I hate cooking. There's nothing worse than that. So yeah, and then I've got a hundred. I've got 200 grams of of tomatoes, which adds up to about 200 grams of carbs. I've got a shitload of like pickled stuff. So I've been making more of an effort to have more pickled foods because I don't want to increase bacterial diversity in my gut. But yeah, as I said right at the start, lads, ask any questions you want. Anything you want. This is a full Q and A. For those of you on Instagram who haven't seen my Facebook. Um, pretty much we go live most nights, although I haven't for the last little bit, um, just because I've been so fucking cooked from training. I've been down on the fucking, on the, on the, um, on the bike every single night. So yeah, Ugh. you know, what's fucking wicked about all these big pickled foods is that you can have so much without doing anything with this, without any weight. My brain's like Friday, but still asking questions. Who we got on here? Wicked. Well, he's, he's a people already. Fuck, you're a legend. Uh, Eddie or Josh Wright. Oh, I can, like, wave to you on Instagram. Instagram's fucking cool. Where's everyone from? Whoop. I'm just going to turn it around. Black Ninja, how are you, brother? Andy. Dad Larkin. Who we got on here? Blakey Burgess. Dazzy Hughes. Mickey Slob. Tim Drew. Pete. How are you, legends? Good to have you on here. So yeah, I'm just going to literally just be eating here, getting my shit ready before I go do my next cardio session. If you want to ask anything, ask away. I'm going to answer every single question that you've got and tell you what I'm doing. Or try and communicate. Because I'll tell you what, I'm pretty fucking brain dead right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Mm. It's good like cooking your eyes. Mate, I'm not going to lie. This, these last few days, yesterday was where the first day I felt it. Right up. Um, right up until yesterday, I was feeling sweet. I was like bragging to my mate. I was like, dude, this is fucking easy, man. Like, we'll drop from 6,000 calories down to 2,000 a day. Fucking sweet. There's nothing uh, There's nothing that's a challenge at all. But next minute, there is. It was fucking tough. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it just smashed me. Yeah, yesterday just started hitting me. And today, fucking wake around the back of the head. I started training twice today. So what we were doing is we are going with... Um, uh, in the AM, we're going chest, shoulders, uh, chest, like anterior delts, thighs, um, uh, yeah, sorry, no, chest, anterior delt, and tries. And then in the PM, we're going with back, biceps, um, back, biceps, and uh, what else? And fucking rear and, and, and um, middle delts. So, yeah. Nettie's just asked, uh, what is the yellow stuff? The yellow stuff is this shit. All right, so it's raw turmeric kraut. That's for the, those on Facebook, that's for those of you on Instagram. That's what it is. It's pretty nice, actually. I'd highly recommend it. Um, Rabio's just asked, does drinking affect our workout? Yes, it does, man. It affects your workout in a big way. Don't bother drinking. If you want optimal gains, don't drink. It fucks you. This is with your brain, ruins your dopamine, ruins your GABA. Um, and also, physically, it's... Um, uh, it messes with your uh, your inflammation levels because it's acetaldehyde, which is what um, the stuff gets processed into. What alcohol gets processed into is uh, no good. These are the shit, by the way. If anyone who's prepping, this is fucking wicked. Absolutely awesome. Oh, yes. So excited for this. Mmm. Nettie's just asked, where do I get all this pickled shit from? Oh, by the way, the fucking heat. 
Don't buy these, all right? Preserved lemons. Do not fucking buy them. They're disgusting. Absolute dog shit. Don't buy. Mm. This is what I got. I got heaps of different ones. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to get creative. Put these closer together, eh? Hey? Yeah, that's it. He's better. Yeah, wicked. Um, so yeah, I got fucking all this different stuff. It's literally just all different fermented foods. That's what I'm going hard on at the moment. We'll see how it works out. I feel better when I eat them. I used to rip on them. I didn't think they worked that well. And then must have been I fixed up my gut. And I started working on them. Mm. Who we got on here on Instagram? Leos from Adelaide, welcome. Faraz just asked, thoughts on milk as a post-workout main meal? Fuck no. No way in hell. Don't have milk. There's so many better things you can put into your post-workout. Put some amino acids in. I use those Cebedo ones. You know, get some real food into there. Don't fucking bother with milk. Milk. Milk's crap. Milk ruins your gut. You don't digest it well. You get fuck all from it. You've got fats and carbs in at the same time, which, well, if you're going by the insulin hypothesis, isn't the best way to do it, particularly when you're a bodybuilder and you're trying to manipulate insulin as much as you can to get freaky results. No, don't bother that shit. Alrighty. Who else we got on here? Mel's, Tom Begley, welcome. Derek, Monty Faith. Just said it's good to be back on the program, smashing it. I'm ready to get back into it. Boom. Killing it, bruh. What else we got here? Josh Hairs. Josh said, how will you rebound out of this extreme diet and cardio phase to get back to making solid gains? I'm going to fucking rebound. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to rebound in a big way. So for those of you who haven't been following, all right, I've been smashing six to seven hours of training every single day. Okay? The 20,000 steps every single day plus 90 minutes of cardio plus training. So I've just switched it up to two trainings a day plus 20,000 steps. That's a fuckload of exercise. 20,000 steps takes me roughly 3,000, sorry, three hours. 20,000 steps also takes a lot longer when you've got a big fat foot like, oh, that's disgusting. Sorry about that. I'll show you this one. <laughs> that was gross. Uh, that. See how fat that fucking thing is? So I sprained my ankle on playing basketball on the weekend. Some fucking muppet went and undercut me I rolled my ankle on him. So it's a bit hard to get in 20,000 steps doing that. But we persist. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to get in 20,000 steps every single day and that's to uh, pretty much negate needs. So non-exercise, activity, thermogenesis or whatever the fuck it stands for. I don't personally apply that to my own clients because I don't think you really need to, but my coach does it and I don't want to think about my own prep, so I let him guide me. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to rebound in a big way. I'm going to rebound in a big way. I'm going to put on a shitload of water. Um, straight out of comps, I'm going to be using diuretics, and we'll be running you through that. Uh, I'm going to put on, a, I'm going to get a heap of swelling around all my joints because I've done a shitload of exercise, like nonstop. Guys, when I was walking, I was literally walking a fucking half marathon every single day. That's a lot. That's like a lot of walking. So, yes, yeah, so that's going to uh, that's going to really, really hit me. Um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit me hard. So I'm just going to rebound. I'm not going to put on much fat. I'll put on a shitload of water, though. Within two weeks, dropping from 6,000 calories a day down to 2,000, that's not really going to affect me um, body composition-wise too much. It's not really... Yeah, it won't do, it won't do fuck all. Well, um, but, uh, but, but the swelling, water inflammation, all that, that's going to be tough. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm going to get into this. I'm hungry as... Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. So yeah, Josh, I'm answer your question. A long answer to your question. Um, what I'm going to be doing to rebound and, and recover is pretty much I'm going to eat a shitload of food straight after. I'm going to be reverting. I'm going to be adding in some more fats again. I'm going to go straight to carb backloading. Fuck load of fats in the morning. Fuck load of carbs at night. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go back up to about 4,000, 5,000 calories, which is around my maintenance. And yeah, do that. I'll also be reverting to having sex and playing basketball. Well, hopefully playing basketball uh, as my only forms of cardio because I'm not going to do any more fucking bike or treadmill. Fuck that. Mm. Kevin Bailey has just asked, what comp am I prepping for? And will it be streamed 
so that you can watch Papa Shred in action. I'm prepping for the South Pacific Championships in Fiji. And, uh, and yes, it will be streamed. I'm going to actually try and stream it myself and give it to you guys. So I'm going to try and get it on my Instagram and on my Facebook at the same time. All right, it's going to be fucking wicked. I'll update you on that. Give me a sec. I'm just going to rearrange it so I can talk to you both at the same time. Welcome weekend. All right, we're getting there. We're getting. I've never gone live on Instagram before. It's been fucking play. Don't mind it. Ah, what's this doing? All right, can we all see me. Oh, I can't see my Instagram is now. Oh my god, isn't this an ordeal? I was gonna go back there, I was before. It's too hard. It's too difficult. My prep brain does not deal with this crap. Alright. Ah, oh, Jesus, I've screwed it up. There we go. We're better now. We're better now. Right, we could. Who else have we got? Um, Crawford has just asked with such a big calorie deficit, do I expect to lose a lot of muscle? Nah. Why would you lose muscle in a short period of time? It doesn't happen. I don't know. Two seconds. Grab my knife. So bloody hot all the time. Mm. Mia. Just said, what time am I going to the gym? Like in general, tonight, I've already been for today, thank God, um, and bashed it out. I normally train first thing in the morning, do a little bit of cardio, then go to the, go lift after that, and then again four to six hours later after that. Mm. Like some injury on Instagram to start, how long have you been doing this whole fitness thing for? Looks like you've been lifting since four, man. Absolute fucking beast, man. Love everything you do. You're a fucking beast. Keep it up. Oh, that's fucking cool, bro. Thanks, man. I respect that. Um, I've been training since I was 14. Right? So I started... No, fuck. When I was year eight. So I was... Uh, no, 12, 13, and year eight. That's when I started lifting. Pretty much, I was, like, good at sport. Um, what do they call me? They called me a hero. So I was a little try-hard, really competitive, little try-hard when I was at school. So I went fucking hard at everything um, all the time. And, um, and yeah, and so the big kids made me go up and go to the gym with them at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. And that's when I started. I got literally fucking pulled out of bed, dragged out of bed, and like, can't you come to the gym? And that's how my lifting career started. Mel them on Facebook just asked, why am I limping? Mel? I absolutely butchered my bloody ankle. Um, absolutely butchered it. So, yeah. It's all swollen. It's fat as fuck. No good. Not fun. And just said, I think you can fit some more sauerkraut on the plate. Bro, I can. So there's a little bit of sauerkraut there. I'm going to get more on that for sure. Oh, yes. There's some meat in that. Fuck. Dead set, guys. If you don't want to cook and you fucking hate cooking like me and you're from Sydney, go on to Daily Fuel. Dead set, the best investment you'll ever make in your life. Mm. Mm. Melody's just asked, am I still going to work out on my ankle? I'm not doing squats or deadlifts or no legs. No. Stuff like no legs, no fucking calves. Stoked. Um, just kidding. I actually like training legs. Um, but, uh, no, so no, I'm not going to be working out on it, but I'm still doing cardio every day. So I'm still doing, uh, I'm still doing, um, steady state cardio on the bike. It's roughly three hours a day. Plus, I'm trying to fucking walk on it a little bit because when I train, my pumps are so fucking big at the moment from all the carbs that my delts actually hurt when I'm using my crutches, so I can't actually do the crutches for too long, because otherwise it just absolutely fucks me. Mm. 
Joan on Facebook just asked me, what am I eating? Um, fucking heaps of stuff, man. Fucking heaps, right? All these fermented foods. I'll do it down on Facebook. That's better. Heaps of fermented foods and all that. A little bit of meat. I'm trying to get 50 grams of carbs in from veggies, and it's fucking awesome. I love doing that. You get so much food going in. Mm. Who else we got on here? Rohan. Big fella, it's good to meet you tonight, my man. Rohan has just asked from Instagram. Looking huge, man. What's your favorite food at the moment? Tomatoes. Check it out. My favorite food by far at the moment. I love them. Mm. Tomatoes and these bad boys from Daily Fuel. Rohan, I'll give you a link to Daily Fuel, actually. Oh. They make all my food for me, so I don't have to worry about shit, and it's awesome. And they make it really, really well, because I can't cook to save myself. Bang. DailyFuel.com, do you? That's what I um, Crawford's just asked, what about the sodium in all the food? Does it matter? Sodium doesn't do shit, man. Everyone's like, oh, don't eat sodium. It's no good for you. It's going to cause heart attacks. No, it's fucking not. Look at that. It causes heart attacks. Sodium's great. Sodium's wicked. Get more sodium in your life, if anything, okay? Piss off, David. Sorry. Sorry, everyone on Instagram. My brother just called. Oi, am I back yet? Hmm. Alright. I have on Instagram, let me know if you can still see me. Um Yeah, Crawford just asked what about the sodium? The sodium doesn't mean shit, it doesn't matter. At all. Sodium sweet. Um the biggest thing with sodium is that uh is that when you're coming into comp you're gonna manipulate it. So I'm gonna be running diuretics coming into comp. Um I'm gonna be using some moderatics and probably some basics as well. And uh and yeah, that's how we manipulate our sodium. We just we just get it out. Ah, oh, stupid thing on fucking Instagram has just died. Give me a sec. Um, hang on, I'm gonna sort out my bloody Instagram one. So annoying, it's my brother calling me. Oh. Mm. All right, I'm back on Instagram. Thank God. So, yeah, with sodium, guys, don't ever cut sodium. Always get shitloads of sodium in because it's good for you. You need more sodium. You always need more sodium. Sodium, potassium, all your electrolytes, get more in, okay? There's no point in just cutting down your sodium. You want to increase all of your electrolytes. So the big key is to have a balance between sodium, potassium, and the rest of them, particularly sodium to potassium. So, with your sodium, get it from sources like Himalayan pink salt, where you actually get a decent amount of potassium with it too. I don't really weigh doing that. Hmm. Mel's just said three hours a day of cardio. Are you crazy? Fucking love it. Hey, I've honestly never felt this good being on, you know, um, you know, three, hour, three hours of cardio a day. It feels fucking wicked, eh? So, honestly, I actually feel... It's like refreshing. I, I, before I was getting like stuff in my head, my lymphatic system wasn't quite moving as well as what it should be. But like three hours a day of cardio, that nips in the butt. It's wicked. It's like it's what we're meant to do. We're meant to be active all the time. It's awesome. Um, Gary Walsh has said, Hi, mate. Much respect. On a typical cardio workout, how many calories should I be burning? Only beginning fitness levels are quite low. Fuck, don't worry about your calories you burn, man. Don't worry about that. The calories on those cardio machines, they don't actually tell you shit. Right? They're not accurate. Because it's different from person to person to person to person, right? So don't worry about fucking calories you're burning, right? Just get on there, roll your legs over, do what you got to do, and uh, and yeah, set set time periods. Calories on there don't fucking matter at all. More importantly, is minimise the use on the machines. The reason why I'm using machines at the moment is because I'm Look, watching Altered Carbon, all right, on Netflix. That's the only reason that I am on the on the shred mill. Well, I was on the shred mill. The only reason I'm on the bike indoors. Otherwise, get the fuck outside. Go play sport, you know. Use sex for cardio. 
do actual fun stuff and don't fucking waste your life away on a hamster wheel or a machine, okay? Really, really crap. I'm, I'm not a big advocate at all for, um, uh, for using cardio indoors. Like, you know, Darcy Monlis has had, hey, bro, looking good. How are you, Darcy? Good to have you on here. Johnny Timms is saying you must have looking really full. Yeah, the full spark at the moment, actually. This is nice. I think that's what happens when you pump a 1,000 grams of carbs a day for however many, you know, fucking weeks. Um, I really noticed a big difference in that. Shit, I was like 95 kilos today. That's like the heaviest I've ever been, and I'm fucking getting lean. But well, midsection's coming in pretty well. Chest is getting pretty tight. Arms are getting tight as well. You know, it's awesome. It's feeling really, really fucking wicked. Right, yeah, what do we got on Instagram? Fuck, there's heaps of people on Instagram. How are you, legends? Good to have you on here. Woodsy, how are you, mate? Good to have you on here. Um, what do we got? So we got Azzy Faze on here, Jolly Pede, Eli or Ellie. Stephen is doing over an hour of fast, over an hour and a half of fast and cardio too much in the morning. Nah. It's fine. Do as much as you can. But obviously if you want to get bigger, you don't need to um you don't want to be doing that. But if you want to get lean, fuck an hour and a half is fine. Just depends how long you're doing it for and how long you, how well your body responds. Obviously, if you're getting skinny, then you're fucking probably doing a bit too much cardio. You need to drop it off. Plain and simple. Ryan. Actually, you just got a shoulder in, uh, shoulder operation coming up. Good luck, brother. You'll be sweet. You'll push through. Big Sammy Kim, how are you, mate? Georgie Dixon. Georgie said, any chance of you actually not talking shit? Huh? Zero chance. Zero chance for me talking shit, bro. Mate. Life's too short to talk about real things all the time. Well, I need a lot of shit talking. That's what I'm here for. You guys. Ah, 68 Paradise City. That's a fucking, that's a good username. I like that username. Get on the bike and ride 10 kilometer outdoor before breakfast. That's what I did back in the day. Man, that's not a fucking bad way to do it if you like bike riding. To be perfectly honest, I fucking hate bike riding, hey? But if it works for you, do it. I much prefer sport. I mean, I'm competitive as fuck. I need to, like, beat other men all the time to prove my insecurities and prove my insecurities to overcome my insecurities. Whatever the fuck reason, I have to do it. But I like being competitive. If you like going out on your bike and doing your cardio that way, fucking do it, right? Get it done. Whatever makes you happy. Mm. Ellie, good to have you on here. You legend. Mm. Jazzy Hughes, Rihanna, Whitey, how are you, mate? Jake Hopwood, Michelle, Lockie, Jesus. Georgie Dixon, how are you, mate? Paul Van Flo, Big AK, how are you, mate? Someone's asked to bounce my chest. Fuck, why is it always the weird people ask me to bounce my chest? I don't know if there's like some sort of sexual gratification or some shit like that. But yeah, I took my shirt off because it's fucking hot in here. That's the only reason. It's not to fucking, you know, so you guys can sit on the other end of the screen and masturbate. Jamie Newstead, how are you, legend? Scotty Hill, Reese Livingston. Josh has asked for the best sex tips for cardio. You know what? Fuck it. I'll give you a good sex tip. All right? So, guys, do you want to last longer? All right, the answer is always yes. If you want to last longer, increase your dose of 5-HTP. By increasing your dose of 5-HTP throughout the day, you'll actually have more control over the point at which you climax. All right? Take that one into account. All right? For my anti-aging guys, I've actually got a protocol for them, which actually helps them last a fuckload longer. All right? They can actually control that. Hope you got up, but that's a secret one for only my anti-aging guys. Um... Charles Walker just asked, if you can see this live, what equipment should someone start on if they're new? When you start on, fuck, start on a bench press or something like that. You can start on bench press, you can start on machines. Look, bro, anything, start on anything, but make sure you're instructed properly on how to do it, okay? 
it doesn't really matter what you start on, man, as long as you're showing the right way. Invest in a good PT, not some fucking shitty backyard PT, right? Because there are a fuckload of those muppets. Get a good PT. Abdel Muhammad, Paddy Roach, you know the two guys I use in Sydney? Fucking wicked, something like that. Big Al said to me near the brass in fuck. I was doing with a girl the other day, and I was like, my tits are literally bigger than yours. Like, look at that. There's actually like a fucking heap of tit there, isn't it? I, I honestly, you know, I think that I've got potential to lactate. I could feed a newborn from them, and maybe one day I will try if I don't take my injections. Mmm. Big day so tiny. And how are you, mate? Good to have you here, bro. Hendry, how are you? Mmm. Sammy. Sammy's to set outside on the balcony and get some vitamin D at the same time. I hope you're referring to sex, mate. Yes, you should be having sex outside in the balcony. It's all about that efficiency, all right? You want to get sex, increase dopamine, increase serotonin, all right? And also get extra bit D. Well thought out, Sammy. Mm. Charles Walker just said, any PT recommendations in cans? Ah, cans, 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 cans. Not a PT. I think you might do PT. But Matty Swagger, he's one of my clients. Good, good bloke. Really fucking wicked dude. We're going to get him jacked and shit for a comp. So you probably hit him up um, uh, and see if he's actually doing any at the moment. He's a, really, he's a pretty switched on dude. Jacob Bakers just said, who's going to win the NBA finals? Fucking Golden State, of course. Why would you think anyone else? I'll tell you what, I'm a big NBA fan. I fucking watch it every single night before bed. You know, it's one time I break the rule of screen time before bed. But there is no fucking way anyone is beating Golden State. They're unstoppable. People are like, oh, they're in a slump, you know, Curry's injured, whatever, whatever, whatever. Fucking if Curry gets injured, then you got fucking Kevin Durant, and you got fucking Clay Thompson, then you got Sean Livingston, you got fucking even JaVale McGee's a freak, all right? He's an absolute numb nuts, but he's a freak. Golden State, hands down, they're going to win it. They're going to smoke everyone. Cleveland's not going to do shit. I'll put money on it. Cleveland won't do shit. Um, Philly, I want Philly to beat Cleveland in the playoffs. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see Cleveland make it out of the conference. I much I love LeBron James. I think he's a freak. Ben Simmons. Mm. Man, he's a man. Ben Simmons and Bead. Fuck. Even JJ Reddick plays some good ball. Darius Saric, too. Fair enough. Mmm. Jagan's just said, how did Cavs in four? No fucking way Cavs are going to get him in four. No chance, bro. Right, what else we got? So let's ask, AJDLTS, it said, want to make your start to work out and what is your motivation? What is my motivation? I literally don't have a motivation. Hey, I just love this. I literally just love doing this. I love suffering. I don't have to compete. There's no reason for me to do it. Yeah, okay, maybe it'll help my business a little bit more, but I don't have to compete. I just fucking love doing it. I love winning. I love being competitive. I love you know, competing against other guys at the top of the world, you know, and I just want to be number one. That's it. There's something about it. I don't know. It's innate. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe a bit strange. But, yeah, I just love doing that. Mm. Blake Rose has said, what's your view on a fat program, which is a power hypertrophy something alternating training or some whatever she that is, P-H-A-T. Don't fucking bother. Anything from Wayne Morton just makes me want to fucking headbutt a wall, all right? I'll straight out say don't do that. Um, Big Al just said tips to get those calves swole. Man, I'm the wrong person to ask about that because my calves are shit house. Number one, though, you always got to contract them well. You've got to contract your calves well. Make sure that you're focusing on how well they're, how well they're moving and the movement patterns there. Um, number two is uh, is ensure that you're actually training them to fatigue, like you're actually properly training them, and then you're not cheating in order to get extra results, right? Number three, make sure that you're actually training them with enough frequency and volume to get gains, right? Which you will be, of course, Al. Mm. She mentioned said nice artwork. He's referring to that for Instagram and that for Facebook. Pretty good, hey? A fucking feature, feature, feature painting, which we drew. We can. Um, Josh, just asked, 
how many calories am I on? At the moment, 2,000 a day, okay? That's it. So two parts of fuck all, peasant rations. For me, anyway. So yeah, don't like going down this low all the time, but I want to get shredded and I want to win the show. So sometimes you got to do that. Mm. Stefan, how are you? Alex D, Dan. Mm. Petri Ruiz is asked, hi man, what is better for making gains, low reps, high weight, or higher reps, like A plus? Bro, that depends from person to person. You gotta find out your muscle fiber dominance, you gotta track your progress over periods of time when you're periodizing uh, your, your training to suit, you know, to be in one of those rep ranges. Holy shit, can't answer that. At the end of the day, train fucking hard, go to failure, eat a shitload of food and you'll grow. Mm. For me, no. For me, what's my best rep range? Everything, right? I will always gravitate. I'm always going to gravitate towards heavy lifting. That's what I'm best at. That's what I enjoy doing the most. It's getting swollen. Excuse my rudeness. <coughs> what is like swollen? <coughs> <coughs> yes, I always gravitate towards doing heavy lifting stuff. Always. I just grow really, really well on it. I can lift heavy for hours and I feel great. Right? That's what I do. And I just love doing it. I just love lifting heavy. Oh, this is an awesome feed. Mm. Excuse my mouth. You turn into a caveman when you prep. Um, what else we got? Brad has asked again, milk is a post-workout. Fuck no. If you have milk post-workout, I'm ahead by you, all right? I used to have a teacher at school who would tell us that chocolate milk is as good as a protein shake post-workout. No, it's fucking not. Nowhere near. It's got completely different macronutrients. It's completely, completely pro-inflammatory. Your digestion goes to shit when you have it. Right? Don't fucking bother with milk post-workout. The worst thing you can ever do. Big end dog, how are you, mate? Hannah, how are you? Babs? Babs just said, move that still thing. It's blocking my view. I don't know, man. I'm fucking I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. I, I don't know how to set this thing up properly. Let's say that. It's just going to piss everybody off on Facebook. Give me a text. All right, that's better. I think we're better now. All right, we can oh, I'm put that foot back up. Holy shit, it's fat. Like, really, really fat, that foot. Stefan just asked, alcohol and training. Depends on how quickly you want to grow, man. The faster you want to grow, the less alcohol you should consume. All right, same with getting lean. Spent my fucking pork. Um... When you drink alcohol, it alters your metabolism, the fats and carbs. So you'll actually preferentially store them as fat. Right? It also reduces your protein synthesis, turns that off, stops you growing, and it also gives you a shitload of calories. Plus, adding there too, I don't know about you, but when I'm pissed, I eat a lot of stupid stuff. All right? When I'm pissed and I'm hungry, I'll literally eat anything. Or alternatively, I just won't eat because my gut's so ruined from drinking. That's why I don't really drink at all. So yeah, I would not recommend drinking if you want to make optimal gains. When I want to make optimal gains, definitely don't drink. Look, over the silly season, I had a few, you know, a few cheeky nights out. Uh, very, very cheeky nights out there were, in fact. But I wasn't a fucking muppet about it. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to get optimal gains over that time. Right? The same thing with you. If you want optimal gains, you just fucking don't. Don't drink. Just stop it right now. You won't see me having babies in the lead up to comp. Mm. Lyndon. Lyndon just said, in all the hours of cardio you're doing a day, what intensity are you doing? Or more hit? Low intensity, bro. Mate, if you could do how many hours, like seven hours, sorry, fuck, four hours of hit every single day, I would salute you. That would be impeccable. That would be absolutely insane. Um, because it's just physically impossible. So yes, I'm just doing all low city state, pumping through episode after episode of Ultra Carbon. If you guys aren't on that, fucking get on it. It's a great show. Wicked.
big end dogs have said you look like you need a bigger plate. Mate, you're not wrong. I didn't have a bowl before, but I was like, oh, fuck, I can't really show the guys what I'm actually eating if I've just got a bowl. So I switched to a plate, just for you. But these are the sacrifices I make for you guys to let you know what I'm doing. So you can keep up to date and you can learn the shit that I'm doing. You know? Big love from Papa Shred to you and you and you and you. Um, Tori just said, do you still have sex while prepping? Fuck yes. Of course, as much as I can fucking get. You know? Well, that depends. I'm actually, actually with sex, I'm like a bit, bit funny about it. I don't actually like to fuck around a whole heap. Just because, I don't know, we've always been a relationship guy. But, um, but yeah, 100%. Could have as much sex as you actually like physically desire while you're having prep. If you stop having sex while prepping, you probably deserve a bit of a headbutt, all right? And you need to have your head red. Sex is fucking great, all right? Like it's really, really good. I don't, I don't know what you guys have been doing, but I like it. Um, so yeah, I would, uh, I would 100% not recommend cutting sex. I tell all of my guys and all of my girls who are competing, I'm like, if you have sex, that takes time off your cardio. Right, one round of sex, assuming it's a proper round, right, don't shoot early. Uh, if you have a proper round of sex, then you can take 15 minutes off your cardio, right? Best deal in the world. You should be having more sex because it's great for you. It makes you feel good, keeps your head up, keeps the keeps your motivation high. Yeah, fuck, have more sex. Definitely don't stop it. Mm. So bad was just after, fucking wicked question. Great question, bro. During prep for your athletes, when do they start cutting and stop backloading? And do they go on keto prior to comp day? So that's the first one. My guys will stop backloading if they need to stop backloading. Some people I get on carbs through the day to maintain fullness and to maintain uh, their intensity through their workout. Some people also just function better on carbs through the day. So I put it in there. It's really independent on that. Do they go on keto prior to comp day? Rarely, all right? Very, very rarely. If someone needs to drop a shitload of fat, and get a shitload dry, drop a heap of water, then yes, I get them to go on keto for a few weeks to dry that up. There is no doubt in my mind that if you want to get into freaky, freaky condition that you need to drop carbs, okay? I'm on a high-carb diet at the moment to maintain fullness and size because that's what they go for in the pro league, all right? But if you want to get freaky, freaky dry, I'm still 100% of the mind that you need to just drop out the carbs, all right? There was actually a re- there's this bloke, really good rig, really decent rig, decent rig. Name was Carlton Loth, okay? He was recently competing in, at, at Arnold's, all right? Now, he's a younger kid, and he fucking took out his carbs for like six weeks, apparently, or so some of the Queensland boys were telling me. And he was shredded. He was fucking small, and he was flat, and his proportions were all fucked, but he was shredded. And that's a perfect example of that, of how if you drop out carbs, you're going to uh, you're gonna get, you know, really, really dry and lean. What have we got on Facebook? Big Joe Athar, how are you, legend? When are you back, mate, from, uh, from Dubai? Dwayne's just said, hello, hi, good morning. Good evening from here, Dwayne. Willie Zimin, how are you, mate? Jose's just said, hi, handsome. Oh, boy, mate. My old people call me handsome. Uh, Jamie Newstead said, I'm making bacon and eggs right now. Fucking amen, bro. Enjoy that. I'll be joining you soon enough as soon as this bloody comp is done. Mm. Mm. Sixty-eight Paradise City just said alcohol and training. Well, back in the day, after leg day, straight forward to the Irish pub next door to the gym for some pints of beer. Hey, worked for Arnold and worked for me, lol. Yeah, man, it might have worked for you. You might have grown when you're doing that, but you probably could have been better. You know, I could. Let's think of something stupid. What's something that's really stupid I could say right now? Hmm. Hmm. All right, say post workout. Okay. I, if I religiously every single day went out and flirted with the ugliest chick I could find, all right, every single day post workout, and I said I went up to her every day, the ugliest chick that I could find, and I started chatting her up and got a number, okay. If I did that every day, I would still make gains. It does not mean that going out and finding the ugliest chick that you can find, all right, and picking her up, that's not going to get you gains. If that makes sense, all right. There's correlation versus causation. Yes, sure. Okay, I got gains and I picked up an ugly chick, right? A really ugly chick, or even a really ugly dude. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat. 
but does not mean that picking up that ugly chick or that ugly dude was anabolic, right? Does that make sense? It's the same thing as, as using like global warming, for example, okay? So over the, over the last years, the climate has changed, okay? While climate has changed, all right, the number of pirates has declined. So since the 1800s, the number of pirates has dramatically declined. That does not mean because we've got a reduction in, in pirate numbers, it does not mean that we have, it's, you know, it's causing climate change. They're completely, two completely separate things, all right? I hope that my, uh, my point was made there. George Williams said dropping cars before comp is yes. I'm not going to argue with that one. Yeah, you love dropping your cards out, you know. I've got another one of my girls, Kelly. It's just like, yeah, no, I fucking hate. But I just want to drop my cards. I want to suffer more. I'm like, yeah, well done. Um, Shabab just said, how are you training legs with a stuffed ankle? I'm not. No legs from Jimmy C. Yep. Um, uh, the thing about physique, bro, is I don't have to show off my legs, right? Because I've got a shit set of pins right now. Like, they're fucking bad. I'll tell you what, guys. I haven't trained legs properly in what since i started prep so before then i was training pretty fucking hard but since since i started prep i've been training properly and they have shrunk it's crazy they're tiny they're fat they're disgusting Ugh. but fuck it i'm gonna get a whim oh yeah another one another one another person has just said can i flex my pecs i'm not gonna fucking flex my pecs for you i get fucking people hitting me up on instagram offering me Twenty-five thousand dollars for it. All right. Well, if you want to pay me twenty-five grand, I'll consider it and probably haggle with you and negotiate for a little bit more. All right. Twenty-five grand. I'm not gay, but twenty-five grand. Anyway, um, I was just said. I think Jose is keen, Jose is keen on me. Yes, I think he is too. Um, Jacobs just said, "What is my go-to for BCAAs? The Sabino supplements, Amino Supreme. Do I have any here?" I don't have any here right now. I would show you. Um, get up and get some, but I can't be bothered. Um, yeah, Amino Supreme by Sabido Supplements. That is the go, all right? It's the wicked one. Why is it so good? Because Papa Shred designed it, all right? So it's got BCAAs, it's got EAAs, it's got electrolytes in the ratio which I wanted it to be, all right? Because that's what I wanted for my clients. So, yeah, that's the one which I would recommend highly, very, very highly. All righty. What else we got? Petri Woos is asked, how will I walk on stage with an ankle? Good question, bro. I actually think I'm just going to have to bring up my crutches with me. I, I shit you not. I, I don't know any other way. Hmm. Daily kind motion. I'll get back to you, bros. I'll have a look at that email. Oh, Jesus. Dominic Moran, how are you, my brother? You doing well? I'll tell you what's pretty fucking cool is that there are apparently 54 people around the world listening to me talk shit while I eat. You're fucking awesome, all you guys. I love doing this. This is wicked. Do you ever have any questions that you want to ask? We'll just fucking keep doing them on these live sessions, right? Because I'm here for you. I just want to make the world a bigger and more shredded place. I mean, I fucking love my job. There's not many people in the world that will say that they fucking love their job. Not just love it, they fucking love it. I wouldn't change a thing. All I do every single day is I go live and I talk to you all. Post shit up, post information on Instagram, Facebook, research, get smarter, talk to smart people, and then make people shredded and big every single day. How fucking good is that? I love it. Speaking of which, if you do want to get shredded and you do want to get big, hit me up, shoot me an inbox, DM us, okay? And we can get you on a program. No bullshit. If you want to get fucking jacked, we will make you fucking jacked, all right? Mm. Stefan Mundy, who said, did you train during year 12? And how did I balance? Yeah, man. I trained during year 12. Say funny thing about me. When I was a kid, I was a little shithead, all right? Straight up little shithead. From the age of about 15 onwards, like 15 to 18, I was a turd at school, like a real turd. 
and um, and I didn't study. <laughs> so so I didn't really study. And so the old balance between you know going to the gym and uh, uh, going to the gym and studying was dramatically skewed towards going to the gym. I was one of the nerdier kids uh, in my boarding house. So I went to boarding school. So I lived at school. Went to Kings in Parramatta, and uh, um, <laughs> and uh, and I was one of the nerdier ones who um, uh, <laughs> who um, actually uh, I studied for two hours a day. Right? That was big. So I studied for two hours a day. That was it. The rest of the time I was either in the gym or shooting hoops. So. That's how I balanced out, you know, the, the study and whatnot. Fuck, I still got 91, which is all right. Probably could have got fucking 97 plus if I really tried, but you know, who cares? I would have been a nerd if I got 97. I can't have that. Um, but yeah. Guys, what I recommend? Get into a routine. Don't waste time, all right? You've got 24 hours in a day. If you're 18, you should be sleeping for 10 of those, all right? Minimum, really, 10. I believe that younger kids should be sleeping more. Fuck, everyone should be sleeping more, all right? So you've got 14 hours a day left. From there, all right? That's fucking heaps of time. So much, so much time that you've that you got there, all right? Let's say you spend, what's that, eight hours a day at school. It means you've still got six hours left over. You spend two hours in the gym, that means you've got four hours to study after school as well, all right? Take out one hour of that to go eat and do random shit. Fuck, you got three hours of study every single day, you know, every single day. That's 21 hours a week, okay? Plus, on the weekends, you can do even more. Heaps of time, bro. Heaps easy, easy to balance it out. Just break it down. Mr. Sainer or Mrs. Aina? This is us. Papa Shreds, all the best for the comp, mate. I've been a keen follower for a while and enjoy the quality free tips here and there. Keep well, lad. Thank you very much, my man. Much appreciated. You're a legend. Faraz is us. Tell the tips in terms of frequency and exercises to make optimal gains. Train them as much as you fucking can. Train them more, and then train them more, and then train them more again. That's what you need to do. Who else we got on Facebook at the moment? Oh, fuck, there's a heap of comments there. Harold, how are you, my man? Good luck with the operation, brother. Joey Doyle. Mickey Stoker, how are you, legend? Does it really matter about the time between meals? Not really, bro. As long as you get them all in. The biggest one's digestion. You look after your digestion, you'll do well. Oh, Chris Van has just said, can you put a shirt on, bro? It's a little bit weird. Mate, I'm perfectly comfortable right here with my shirt off, and I'm going to continue to have my shirt off, okay? It's your fault if you're getting a little boner while watching me, okay? Sort that out. Um, Johnny Timms has said, feel sorry for you. I've already had my dinner and done the dishes and you're still going on your dinner. Why are you feeling sorry for me, bro? I need to fucking eat. I need to eat and talk shit. Two of the most favorite things in the world. How could you feel sorry for me, mate? I'm in heaven right now. I get to talk to you, Johnny. You know, I get Jose calling you handsome and asking me to bounce my tits. I went, oh, I just dribbled. I hope you didn't see that. Um, what more could you want in life? Mmm. There's a good bit of banter going on on Facebook between Jose and Chris. Jose just said that it's not weird. I'm sitting here with my shirt off because Jose likes me sitting here with my shirt off. I mean, fuck all power to him. <laughs> and Chris, Chris just said, not for you, Captain Flex. Jose, come back with a big hug. Let's go for the king here. What are we going to have? Oh, I fucking love banter over social media. It's great. Here's the J9 said, hey, Kitten. Kitten. I haven't had that one in a while. Um, what's your three best gut subs? Uh, number one, digestive enzymes. Number two, apple cider vinegar. Actually, instead of betaine HCL, much preferring apple cider vinegar at the moment. Um, number three, 5-HCP. Lindy. Thoughts on push-pull splits? Fucking great. Or just focus on muscle groups? Fucking great. Everything's going to work. Everything is going to be fine. Everything's going to give you gains if you just fucking put your mind to it and get done. All right? 
Try it out. Hell funky funky energy is before I thought it until that's why it's every line on 2,000 calories. Fucking number one, I just love it. I'm really enjoying it. Number two, fucking heaps of stimulants, eh? I'm like stimmed out of my mind at the moment. Two weeks, I'm like fucking, okay, heaps of stimulants. For James Camp is one and a half espresso a day because that sends me off the fucking Richter scale. Um, yeah. That's what I'm doing, my brother. Manillionaire, how are you, legend? He said, how does your gut deal with your high calories? Do you still eat low-volume foods? No, nah, definitely don't eat low-volume foods. Well, I'm going to eat more after this. Um, my gut fucking cops it. <laughs> it's pretty much it, hey. It's, uh, yeah, my, my gut just cops it straight up. It's like the little weedy, nerdy kid at school that, you know, isn't good at sport and all that. You know, got glasses, freckles, you know, braces, all that, and cops it. That's what my gut's like when I'm on high calories. I'm just fucking cops it, beating all the time. Just more food, more food, more food. As far as looking after it, guys, um, I do fucking supplement a shitload of stuff. I mean, over there, there's a heap of crap. I won't move that, won't move the screens for taking hours to fucking put it back, but yeah. Braz, how much of the fitness industry is truly natty? Well, some parts. I was originally going to say fuck all, but some parts of it all. Josh uh, mm. and Klaus just asked, does it matter if you often donate for a 10 hour period? Not really. Jose has just said, are you okay with me liking you? Well, Jose, you can like me as much as you want, brother, but you're probably not going to get my D. No, I don't swing that way. Fuck, if I did, I'd be well and truly open. Gay pride, fucking anyone who's gay, go you. I'm fucking all for it. But it's just not for me. <laughs> and I was just said, I was saying he's definitely playing with himself. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, shit, this makes me laugh. I'm going to do this more often. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Oh, classic. Um, baby guy Moses just said, are the apple cider vinegar tablets from I Herb Good? Fuck no. I've seen apple cider vinegar tablets. I've seen kombucha tablets. Don't fucking bother. Just get the real thing. Get it done, okay? You can't take the taste and just fucking man up, put a little bit more of water in it, and you'll be sweet. Jace makes it said, James, you're a fucking legend. So are you, Jace. Well, man. No, oh, fuck me. Uh, you're fucking cracking me up. Charles Walker, where would you recommend to get protein powder from? TomatoSupplements.com is a link. Why do I recommend Tomato? Because the owner, Sean, is a fucking legend. That's the main reason. <laughs> Number two, they make really fucking good products and I actually trust them. There's no fucking cutting shit. There's no fucking cutting corners. There's no compromising quality. There's no fucking... Chicks with fake tits. Sorry, I still got tears in my eyes after Al's comment. No chicks with their fucking fake tits next to a product just to sell it because it's bullshit and you couldn't sell it otherwise. You know, none of that crap. Oh, yeah. All right. Any last minute questions, get them in, lads and ladettes. Oh, by the way, all you on Facebook. If you want to keep seeing these videos, you got to like them or you've got to comment on them, okay? Otherwise, old mate Zuckerberg gets on his fucking high horse and stop letting you see me when I post stuff, okay? I've got 42,000, 40, 45,000 something, something like that. A lot of people on Facebook I've got, okay, but hardly any of you will actually see the videos. If you want to if you want to see more of them, just fucking click like, okay? That's it. Plus, you boost my ego and you make me feel good about myself because I can then go home and tell mum, I'm like, mum. Look, I got 30 likes today. 30, I have 200 likes today. You know what I mean? Um, Kalos has asked, who's artwork in the back? Ooh. There. Yeah, there. That one. That was mine. Thank you very much. I consider myself to be an artist. Um, yes. Very good. Coles has said it's 5 a.m. in the States. What time is it over here? 10 past 9. Mm. Dave Pez has asked, what do I think about the Lexogenin Halo tablets from Redcom 1? Any good? 
Redcon one makes me want to makes me want to cut my nipples off with a rusty nail. The quality of their products, okay? The bullshit behind it. Don't fucking bother, all right? Don't fucking bother. Luxogenin, no research behind it. Does it work? All right? If you want to use fucking steroids, you can take steroids. If you don't want to use steroids, but you want to take something that's like steroids, use Psalms. Don't go to fucking bullshit plant-based supplements, which all they do is line the pockets of the people who sell them, right? The snake also all salesmen. Oh, yeah? Um, Carrie's just said thoughts on the new gut right being spruced. Haven't used it yet, can't really comment, but it looks promising in some ways and looks like they've, you know, missed a little bit of research in other ways. Okay. Jose just asked, do I eat healthy every day? Well, if I'm going out, I'm going to fucking eat like 10 burgers, then no, I'm not eating healthy that day. But generally I eat healthy. I just eat food, which is good and I like. Lily Nez said, when are you going to start doing stand-up? Never. I'm actually a really shy guy. I'm just really, really confident behind the screen because none of you can attack me. Um, Charles Walker. When choosing supplements for someone with a high metabolism, what would you recommend? But it doesn't affect it at all, bro. It doesn't affect it at all. Just fucking eat more. Jace Mack, thoughts on Psalms. All right, Psalms, if you have an ethical issue with buying steroids because they're illegal, all right, and it's against the government's laws, but you still want to buy steroids, you still want to use steroids, then use Psalms because they're legal, right? If you don't have any ethical issue, just use steroids because the same shit as Psalms have all the same side effects, do all the same shit, except steroids are better. They give you more gains. All right? Tara Marnie, who just said, am I wearing any undies right now? Tara Marnie, if I didn't know you since I was fucking 12 years of age, I would think that you're up there with Jose right now. Watch yourself. You. Um, but yes, I am wearing undies. I'm wearing fucking shorts. Mm. Speaking of which, they fucking do you even shorts. Do I imagine sending out fucking to me today? If I do you even? No, fuck last night. That if you all want some fucking really, really cheap clothes, Go on to doyouem.com, right, right now, and use my code, Can't clients, fuck, I'm going to put it in here for you. Because they're doing, like, fucking 60% off. I'm like, I don't normally, like, sell shit. I don't, like, spook you guys with stuff, but that's actually a really fucking good deal. So doyouem.com, and then it's going to be Can't clients. Fuck, I think it's Can't clients. I hope it's Can't clients. So, um, if you want to save some dosh on clothes. And they're fucking with clothes too. I don't need to fucking tell you guys if they're shit. If they're, if, but I'd tell you if they're shit. You know what I mean? Actually, I wouldn't just be with them if they were shit. Um, but yeah. I actually rate these clothes really high. Yeah. There you go. Hookies up. Enjoy that. Courtesy of Papa Shreds. Michael Stoker. Is that if we deliver a thousand likes, we record a live date with you know say. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? You guys don't do many things, but I probably wouldn't meet up with Jose. Okay. As I said, I've got nothing against gays. All right, I'm all for it. I fucking voted yes. Fucking oath I did. But, but probably not gonna haul myself out for likes. Okay. Lots of other social media personalities will haul themselves out for a lot less, but Papa Shreds doesn't really give a fuck about likes. So, yeah. Shit loads of money. Well, yeah, no, nah, I'm a sucker for money. I kind of do like money. But um, but it's going to have to be a fair bit if I'm not really fucking you know, broke. Uh, Manilia has just asked about, what about Psalms for women, though? Uh, yeah, no, nah, some Psalms for women, I actually haven't looked into it that much. Um, my only experience with women and anabolics is... Um, was obviously using steroids. Okay. There are some steroids for women which can be quite good, quite efficient with no side effects. On that note, I'm going to go do cardio because I've got to bash out another 40 minutes before old mate security guard kicks me out of downstairs my apartment blocks thing. This is fun. I liked it. It's cool having fucking everyone in here. Um, so I'm going to leave legends to it. Adios awesome, amigos. Enjoy your night and I'll speak to you all soon. Much love. And that one. And...